Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our ESP8266 chip. Um, basically, it's just a little board with a wireless adapter on it. Sometimes you can get it uh, with a wireless adapter already on the main board. But it's just basically a USB adapter that we can go ahead and put our host files on and then connect with it wirelessly. Um, this saves a lot of time. You don't have to go ahead and connect to your own wireless and then go ahead and download everything from the internet. Um, so it's a lot safer as well because you can just go ahead and plug this in anywhere. So anything that has USB to power it up. Um, your TV always turns on so it always has power and it usually has a USB port. So you can go ahead and plug this directly into your TV. And when you go ahead and play your PlayStation, um, obviously your TV has to be turned on so you got power. But yeah, let's go ahead and get it set up. Um, this is the one I ended up going with. Uh, it's only 14 Canadian. You might be able to get them cheaper. Um, I just kind of just grabbed this one. It's the first one I've seen, and I thought I'd give it a go. But, uh, yeah, once you do have your card, you can go ahead and plug it into your computer, as we'll need to flash it. Um, the, what the file I'm going to be using is uh, by Caro. Uh, it's the ESP8266900 Gold. And I've already went ahead and downloaded that bin file. Um, but once you do have it downloaded, we'll also need our drivers for the 8266. You can go ahead and download them as well. And then finally, the flasher. So if we go ahead and take a look into our device manager, you can see that uh, it's not detected at all. Um, but we can go ahead and fix that right now with the drivers. Go ahead and just say yes to it if you are prompt. And then we'll go ahead and install shouldn't take too long to install. Give it a few seconds and everything should come up. So we can see the USB is coming through and it is installed. Okay, so just take note of the port. This one is on port for, or sorry, com. Um, yeah, I get confused a little bit there with the comms and the ports, but uh, pretty much the same thing. But this is com4, which is fine. We can go ahead and open up our flasher. And if you do get a security warning there, just say run anyways. Okay, so once we do get it up, we can go ahead and slide it over just so you can see. We can close that out now. Um, we know it's on port 4, so we'll go ahead, or sorry, COM4. And then we'll go ahead and browse for our firmware, which is on the desktop. And it is the ESP8266 900 Gold. And then we'll go ahead and select yes, wipe all data. And then we can go ahead and hit flash. So it shouldn't take too long to flash all the files. Um, as you can see, it is starting to erase it. There we go. And now it's starting to write. Okay, guys, so I did skip ahead there. We're at 97%. It does take a little bit of time, maybe two or three minutes. Not very long, but it does take somewhat time. There you go. There, there's the result. 222 seconds, so two minutes. So we're waiting for the message to come up. Firmware successfully flashed. Go ahead and unplug or reset and switch back to normal mode to boot. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and unplug it. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to use my TV for this. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in my TV, and we're going to jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and go into our settings. Go to our network, and we'll go ahead and set up internet connection. We'll use Wi-Fi, and we'll go with the easy. Go ahead and select our Caro host, and we'll type in the password 128. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go ahead and hit done, and OK. Give it a few moments here to connect. Shouldn't take too long at all. Okay, check in the network environment. Okay, and IP address, we'll go ahead and select auto. Do not specify DNS automatically, automatically, and do not use. And as for the internet connection, we don't need to test it. Uh, we'll back out of there. Go into our user guide. Go ahead and select that. Give it a few moments here. It should automatically redirect us to Cairo's host. 
Okay, and now we're in. So now it's going to download the cache. As you can see, it does go much faster because we are a lot closer to the wireless, uh, the wireless itself. Um, so there's 50%. There's 75. And there's 100. Okay, so now it's done. We can go ahead and go to the jailbreak. We used Goal 10 version 2, B2. Go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here. It should pop up with the message to insert our USB. Okay, any moment we should see it. There we go. So go ahead and insert your USB. And we'll just wait for the message to pop up on supported file system. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Goal 10 2.0 loaded. So we can go ahead and unplug our USB now as we don't need it anymore. Go ahead and hit OK. And don't worry about that memory error. That is not an issue. Um, but yeah, that worked out pretty good, guys. Um, that's basically it for the video. I just want to jump on and uh, show you how easy that little chip is. And you can go ahead and plug it in anywhere as you want. Um, if you have a wall outlet with a USB port on it, you go ahead and plug it on that. It's great if you have multiple PlayStations in your house, you can go ahead and just connect to that there and it works pretty good. Uh, another great feature of it is you never have to worry about anybody updating your PlayStation because you're not connected to any wireless. You're just connected to that little device and that's not connected to the outside network. So yeah, for 12 or $13, you can go ahead and pick one up. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the video. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.